Hi guys, for some weird reason, David Frost, or Lord Frost, because he was put into the House of Lords, due to the wonderful work he did with the Brexit withdrawal agreement, the same one that he later trashed and blamed his failures on Theresa May, the EU, and Ireland. Lord Frost still attracts attention for some reason. Here he was appearing on Talk TV with Julia Hartless Brewer, where he was, wait for it, asked to give advice to the Tories on how to win the next general election. Yeah, have a listen to these pearls of wisdom. Three acts of parliament that you could, if you could put through right now, you could put through before the next election, next May or next October, that would, which you of course as a peer don't have a vote, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> that, you, that you could enact that would demonstrate to the British public, to conservative voters of long, long-standing and also those new red wall voters that gave that 80 strong majority to Boris Johnson in 2019. What would those three laws be? What would you do? What would you change? Stop subsidising pointless renewables, get the cost of energy down that way and do some fracking. <sighs> Does this guy have no sense of embarrassment? Subsidies for renewables will bring down the, energy, the cost of renewables. And it will also create jobs. It's the future technologies. That's where you should be investing. In the future. Not going backwards. Now, he's talking also about fracking. Well, whatever you take out of the ground will be sold on the international market. So this will not bring down the price of fuel for the average British consumer. So that's not going to help cut legal as well as illegal immigration, get the number of visas right down and make some spending cuts and get taxation down. Okay, immigration, bring down legal migration, reduce the number of visas. And how is that going to help anything? If there's a shortage of workers, if you want to grow the economy, you need to attract investment, you need to grow industry. And he's talking about, well, let's maintain barriers to bringing in the people we need. Let's punish businesses more and then cutting taxes okay how is that going to grow the economy on a bit show down payments in the next year on the kind of country we want to turn Britain very into. interesting one thing you didn't mention there was building more houses which well, is the mantra of my show whatever I, I, time of day I'm i would on. agree if you give me four I would, <laughs> yeah i would have been the next one well. <sighs> what is the point in inviting this guy on what does he add as I said at the beginning, he's the guy who was put into the House of Lords because of the deal that he signed with the European Union, and then he later trashed. But once again, th th what is he presenting? We need to damage the environment more, and that will somehow bring down the price of energy for ordinary people. We need to cut taxes, of course, for the richest in society, and we need to make it more difficult for businesses to access the workers they need. Because, well, you know, <laughs> we need to bring down immigration. Now, he talked about illegal immigration. Well, obviously, he's talking about stopping the boats or something like that. He's not talking about people who overstay their visa or people who, who have been rejected and, st and, you know, end up in the black economy. We're talking about a very small number of people there. But he's, he wants to bring down legal migration, quote unquote. So he wants to make it more difficult for universities to get to, to get students in and businesses to access the workers they need. Why ask him these questions? <laughs> Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.